that bastard here. Today I'm going to be talking about something that you just do not find in the land down under. It is rarer than rocking horse crap. It's General Mills Toast Crunch. That's not absolutely impossible to find. Very difficult and irritatingly expensive. But this one's in apple cinnamon flavour. Actually, by American standards, that ingredients list isn't that apocalyptic. We'll scan the nutritional panel first. American standards, that is actually quite piffy. Now, you may be wondering, um, A, you have this in Australia? Yes, we, we get most, a good chunk of the American cereals about maybe a third of what's available universally in America. They are expensive though, and it's always very hackneyed. It's Reese's Peanut Butter Puss, it's um, Captain Crunch, it's the more generic version of this. Um, that's, yeah, there's like three or four types you can find everywhere that dares to sell American cereal. And then there's another five or six types you could theoretically track down and then if you're really lucky or go online engage in some daylight robbery there's another four or five types you can engage in it's quite infuriating actually if that's your um if I mean, it's a bit of a hobby going for all the weird cereals you can get Started. Let's take a look at these little guys that are dry. Look at that. Obviously, you aren't familiar with these. They're literally a little bit of cereal. Hands are covered in ink today. Well, look at this one. Whoa, man, I love. Don't go messing with permanent markers, people. A little dry one. They definitely taste the part. Definitely cinnamon, definitely getting some apple. Definitely looks like a little French toast slice. It's got a decent crunch. And that's just suggesting it's made out of a, um, a sort of uh, grain pulp. I know they take some whatever grains they're using, soak them to the practically a mush, and lightly whip it up shape it and then you roast them dry and may or may not account for the expansion may not expand even may even shrink I, I don't know the exact process they use I just have a very good idea of how they do it so far so delicious I mean um, if you've ever had American cereal before you know what to expect um, very good facsimile to an apple a lovely bit of sweet cinnamon this is more dusty than normal. I'm guessing based on my experiences down under, it's easier to get a hold of Apple Jacks. That's probably what most people are familiar with, the American Apple Cinnamon cereals. Very nice. These might be nice. It depends on you like, how you like your cereals and texture-wise. It's nicely with dilution in milk. Flavour profile. It does seem to be a bit sweet though. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe that. That swing is always particularly dry. Um. I did say these are ridiculously expensive down under, and they are. A box like this, um, it's not unusual to pay $14 for it. That is on the more expensive side. $12 is a more fair price. I wouldn't be surprised if people, you know, it takes over 
you dump all over my parade in the commentary go, oh, I know a place where it's what, it's 18, 19 dollars. I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised. There's a lot of miserable bastards out there. Gouts like motherfuckers. Um, I really wouldn't be. And I, um, as I filmed this, recently spotted some, um, mermaid cereal with edible glitter in it. Um, I really wanted it. It was cool. I reckon it would have made a magnificent video and it would be a cool cereal to have but, um, on hand, but it was almost $20 for a box about the same size as this. This is a, um, geez, now I've got to find it, 314 gram, 11.1 .1 ounce box, which makes it a small one, even by American standards. This is a small box. Um, so, idiocy. Absolute idiocy. You essentially can this is a hobby. I'm not getting paid to do this. Um, spending $20 on cereal is um, farcical. Nutritionally, this is an end of the world by American standards, so it tastes great. By American cereal standards down under, it's not impossibly expensive. I'm sure in America you can pick this up at a Target, Walmart, whatever. Three bucks, three bucks fifty a box, and you're probably getting ripped off. It should be you know, two dollars something a box, you know, say two dollars eighty a box, or three bucks flat. Um, you're paying three fifty, but whatever. I'm just waffling now, so and that's the wrong breakfast item. So I've got it out here.